So we woke up at 3.15 this morning, and right now, we, we packed everything up. Right now we're at the ORP, it is 4.30. ORP is the objective rally point where we are gonna meet with Uncle Todd and Seth, who may or may not have slept in this morning. We're gonna meet at 4.30, they're not here yet. So, we'll get back to you when we're on the road. I knew we woke you up. I knew we woke you up. Good morning. All right, so as you can see, it's still pretty dark. Uh, we thought we'd be having to rig up in the pitch black. It's actually a lot darker than we thought it would be. It's about seven o'clock that we pulled in here. We're on Elk Creek up at Erie. We saw a bunch of guys going in earlier in the, the, the pitch black and we're almost rigged up and we're gonna be heading up creek and hopefully getting into some steelhead. The water was up the last two days, so hopefully there's a fresh run of fish going up and uh, hopefully we'll be fishing over some fresh fish. All right, Uncle Todd is into the first fish in the morning. Looks like a good one. Yeah, I think Doug's gonna be the net man. There's Seth. Us four are kind of sharing this hole here. And we have it all to ourselves right now, which is really nice. I rolled one. Uh, other than that, nothing so far. Other than this one right here. Have you seen him yet, Uncle Todd? I, just, uh, I can't see if it's a top fly or the bottom fly yet. I think it's uh, pink sucker spawn on the bottom. Yeah, it's pink sucker spawn. Uh, I got a salmon marble. Holy criminy. Man, how about that? That is unreal. I got this drag set. You can literally pull a truck out of the water. And he just stripped me. I can't tell if it's a nice fish yet. I can't see anything yet. It looked nice. Flashes. I just see little flashes. I got a nice glimpse of him there when he ran. He looked nice. Nope, he's not ready. He's stripping line. And I got this drag cranked down like you can't even begin to imagine. Try and bring him up. Dan's hooked into one here. That thing took off like a rocket. The thing is, he doesn't have a net. So, work your way down here. He had to go up creek a little bit just so he can cross. And now, I'm gonna get him a net. He's a nice fish, too. Man, we were, me and Doug were just sitting there talking about life, and then boom, and it erupted. We were, I was on the one side of the creek, Doug was on the other side, and it just jumped right in between us. And he took off. Look at that rod bend.
all about that fish. And that was the first one of the day for us, for me and Doug. And uh, yeah, he fought hard. Let's get back up into that hole and keep fishing. All right, Dan's got number two here. Had to give him, I had to give him my net before I got down below him so I could film. Since his net's a little too tiny for the steelhead, mine works a little bit better in these situations. He's getting downstream of it, and because he's get, trying to get downstream, that way that fish can fight both the current and Dan's rod, and he can pull it in right behind him. This one's not quite as big, he's saying. Taking line. And he's taking line, tried to scoop him, but he's not ready to come in. He keeps, he keeps trying to take line, Dan will bring him in, get the net ready and he takes off. This is about the third time that that's happened. Hopefully on the fourth, we'll see if he can do it or if that fish is gonna wanna, he wants to go back out. Hands are burning. <laughs> He's putting so much pressure on that thing. <laughs> <If I, laughs> the scoop and score. My net as you can see is not the biggest either so I'm gonna go give him a hand and we'll get some footage of the fish after we give it give it some water slightly smaller one this time took a really tiny egg pattern get a Great quick fish though. get we'll get a quick picture of him This is my first one of the day. Dan's got two, I got one, Dad's got two. So it's been a good day so far. Beautiful fish. This is probably the, one of the nicer ones. They swim off with some vigor. We're gonna go get another one here. Okay, so we uh, decided to switch locations here, pack it up and head upstream a little bit. Now that there's some water, maybe there's some fish a little bit further up from where Dad and I were uh, earlier this year, so. We'll get in the water and see what we can do up here. Keep our fingers crossed.
right, Uncle Todd is hooked up. Dad's gonna give him a hand net net since he doesn't have his Uncle Todd doesn't have his net on him. Seems like a decent fish. And we saw it there. Looks like he's got a good handle on it. Doesn't seem to have the fight in him up here as they did down the lower section of the creek. So we're gonna wrap up the day. Overall, it wasn't too bad. Uh, we all ended up getting into some fish, which is always our goal when we come up. So as always, thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.